Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file that they had traced. And it's got a bunch of, they asked how the best way to clean it up. Well, this is going to take you longer to clean it up than it did to, for me to draw this one. I probably drew this in under five minutes. And there's two ways to draw this part, which is probably the hardest part. But take your polygon tool and have it set on just three points and just draw you your regular triangle. Go down to your pen thickness tool and let's change it. And actually from doing that, I know it's 2.5, which isn't one of my defaults, but you can type anything you want. And then I'm gonna right click and make it black. I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool and make the part of the bucket. And this is my, I made mine a little symmetrical. Your, your dish or your bucket could be or should be maybe a little bit bigger, but that's, doesn't really matter. Then take your smart fill tool and fill that in and move your circle away. Now I'm not actually gonna keep that ellipse for a second and use it again. So there's one of them. The other way to do it, and the disadvantage in doing this way is you get a blunt point on that top because it's the line is so thick. So we can do it this way. We can grab the polygon tool, make our same shape. But this time we're gonna contour, go to effects, contour to the inside, 0 0.03. And there's our string and both now, both our tips are pointed. And then let's zoom in and use the, get our bucket up here. And actually we can take our, our new drawing and make it a little bit thicker. And you could play around with this till the cows come home. But we're just gonna call that good enough. Now what I would do is take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Move away this, whoop, move away this uh, circle and fill this in. Voila. Now then you could left click, no outline. So there's, there's two ways to really quickly uh, do that. And while I was just thinking about it, there's another thing you could do when drawing this line. If you make it at 2.5 points, two and a half points, and then you go to object and you convert the outline to an object, you can left click, right click, and now you've got that same deal, the same what we want to be able to fill that in, but you've still got the same non-pointed point or blunt point. And the advantage of kind of doing it this way, because that's an object now, you could take your, your bucket, bring it in here, get a little bit closer to this shape. And I was just gonna show you the advantage to having, a, in this way, if you wanted to make it all one, uh, object basically and you could still do that but then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete this line and i'm a little bit off but it doesn't really matter and then fill the whole thing in now this is all one sealed object and then of course you can make it shorter or squattier or bigger and then the rest of this is just elementary drawing we're going to draw it real quick i'm going to just and and one thing if you're trying to copy something to almost a scale uh use the drawing and see that and then go ahead and um, get the length of this bar but with another rectangle and get the length of this bar with another Rectangle. Now let's move this drawing out of the way. And we have this. Now this isn't perfect in the center. And this is why I would want to draw in the center of the page. 
I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. I'm going to group this together, control G, and I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Move my old one out. And then I'm going to hit P and put this in the center of the page. Now using the control button, I can move this up or down and it'll be perfect. Well, it's not. <laughs> Use your, I'm a little bit, I'm not perfect on my length. But you can nudge this over very slightly to get it perfect. And while it's still a rectangle, go to your chamfer tool and chamfer those corners just a little bit. Now let's we'll see what happens when we weld it all together. There we have that part. Get you a ball, kind of the end knob. And let's see if I have snap to object on. That's gonna help you tremendously to snap to the center of this item. See that snap to the midpoint, control D. Snap to the midpoint. And really we didn't make that, that um, part long enough. So you can take the shape tool, grab those two, start moving them up and hold down the control button. And unless it has to be perfect mimic of somebody's logo, it's gonna be your drawing. Now, you never really know what's gonna happen when you weld, but it worked. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Then the only thing, we're, we're almost done, folks. Take a, take a base, let's see what the base looks like. It's a half of a circle. We'll make it a little bit bigger. We'll have it snap to the center of that. Now we're gonna take a two point line and you could almost put it anywhere, but put on the quadrant to the quadrant. Well, I, I grabbed the, the parallel dimension tool. See quadrant to quadrant, you're right through the middle. Now this is a place I would take the, instead of trying to weld it, I would just do this. Delete that and delete that, and then take your smart fill tool. There is our holder of our pendulums, and then take our, one of the pendulums we drew, control G, almost there folks. And see, if I hadn't talk, if I didn't have to be talking, and we're a little bit big, I guarantee I could draw this, and you could too, in five minutes. Hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.